Peace to the family. I'm just here to see if I'm hearing things correctly. I'm supposed to talk to a manager of some sort, you know, because I'll be booking these stays for the homies and I. We be staying like a month on end and flying back and forth, but I have a tendency to keep extending from day to day because my schedule is spontaneous. At any given moment, I might have to go to Turks and Cakes, Bahamas, whatever, back to Miami. So I tend to only book a day or two at a time because sometimes we leave and there's an open room just available. So now I'm being told like somehow I'm breaking some rule. Mind you, I get two rooms at a time and the rooms I get is over a thousand dollars. So I'm just trying to find out what they're going to tell me. So I'm going to see what's good. Hold tight for me. What's up, miss? Why are you calling me miss? <laughs> well, I mean, that's Monica on some days, Stacy on others. I don't know what y'all be going through. I'm still trying to figure y'all out. <laughs> yeah, I will, I got you. <coughs> oh yeah, we definitely will. I got it all figured out. Yeah, so I'm about to see if I can talk to this lady. Hopefully you guys can hear what I get told in the process. Yeah. So I'll figure it out. This I'm not sure if that's the... I'm a, I'm a... This guy ain't picking up his phone. That might be her. We'll find out. That's her over there. Oh, who is it? I don't know. Okay. I think so. It's all good. Yeah. So I just want you guys to bear with me. Bear with me on this. I just don't like being told anything stupid by myself. I like to know that I'm not losing my mind. But I mean, you you literally talking. I've been here for probably uh, the last stretch after I took a little week and a half off. Went to LA for two days. We was here in two different rooms for like 30 days straight. <laughs> we was in here for 30 days straight, two different rooms. Took a little break, came back. We on like week two right now. And like I said, these rooms I get, I love to have the ocean view, and I love to have the biggest and the best rooms that they have available. So, I mean, what's the issue? Oh, I'm spending top dollar every single day. And so now I'm standing here waiting for someone to tell me why I'm not allowed to extend my stay day to day. And then now they also want to tell me I can't keep the room that I'm in. So my thing is this. If I go on Expedia, or my assistant goes on Expedia, and the room is available, why am I not able to be in a room if, if we can go online and see that the room is available? Why am I personally being told it's not available? So yeah, we're gonna see. I hope I can get this off now, because I gotta actually 
go to the studio. Got a new studio I'm going to. I'm just waiting. Waiting here to see what the vibes is. But <clears throat> I ain't gonna be able to stay much longer because I got a studio session. What happened to you? Left side of the room? Yeah, my <coughs> All right. I hate when people say I blocked them and I can read their message talking about I blocked them. You know, if you get blocked, I wouldn't be able to see your messages because you would be blocked. <laughs> but yeah, this is taking kind of long, man. I was hoping we could have got straight to the point. Y'all can hear this flu flam live and direct. Uh, so apparently it wasn't that lady over there. I'm just waiting for the right lady. Well, I'm going to have to leave soon. I was hoping you guys could see this because I'm going a, I'm to a play calm. Because I would just love, I would love to hear <clears throat> what the explanation is or how I might be in trouble for spending over 30 damn thousand dollars. I just want to hear what the issue is because I'm out here on business. And like I said, I don't never know from one day to the next how strict my scheduling may be because if I get offered a larger dollar amount to render a service, whether it's for coaching, lecture, I be doing private lectures. So whether I'm doing private lecture or hosting an event, it might demand that I leave. And then I like making Miami my base for all things East Coast or Caribbean. When I'm in LA, that's because the energy's over there and I center a lot of my touring and scheduling around there. So when I'm in Miami, it's just because I, I, my scheduling is put in such a way that I can move back and forth efficiently. Cause like to the Bahamas, I'm 20 minutes, I'm a 20 minute flight from the Bahamas, from here. I go to Jamaica and probably inside of two hours, something like that. Turks and Cakes about an hour and a half, something like that. Cayman Islands about an hour and change, I give or take. So a lot of the places that I go to, <coughs> a lot of the places I go to is a lot easier to accomplish my traveling. And it's more cost efficient. Yeah, I gotta give a leave soon. Yep. So hopefully this lady comes. I'm gonna leave it right here. So hopefully I can catch the culprit. See what? Right in the act. I think she be coming. The culprit should be coming out of that door. Let's give me a few. Give me a few. I'm gonna see if I could catch them attempting to flu flam me. I'm just standing here waiting and waiting and waiting. I really gotta get out of here in a few minutes. I'm just hoping I can catch the culprit coming out the door. Cause... No, that's not it. Oh, good looking. And a ginger shot, maybe? So I'm trying to find out. Oh, how you doing? So yeah, I'm coming right now. We got studio today. Give me a few minutes because I'm just finding out what's going on. All right, Mr. Now. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, first, I'd like to start by thanking you I've for had your two business. Rooms already. Appreciate it. You have the flashlight. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It happens with me too. 
39 degrees. Where's that at? The first room is it off? Yes, okay. it is. Hold on for me real quick. I'm listening. That's okay. So here's the thing. With the multiple one night stays, it's it's very hard for us as the operation to manage this, right? For example, that room we have set for a VIP arriving on Sunday. Um, so we need that room. So it's very hard to keep up with the one night back to back reservation. So what I wanted to speak to you is if you were planning to stay for longer, uh -huh. that you both and two nights instead of booking one night every day and then upgrading from there. We never know the occupancy on the day of uh, South Beach right now uh, is crowded. So we, we're seeing, we're picking up 20, 25 rooms a day. I get it. So, uh, and we're about to uh, welcome a large group uh, on Sunday, starting on Sunday. So I would recommend that if you're planning to stay in the city and you want to stay with us, that you book the long than that. All right. I mean, my schedule just fluctuates so much that at any given point, I might fly away. So this has been like a base for me as well as L.A. or New York. So depending on what my schedule takes me, I kind of stay there. And because my schedule kind of fluctuates, uh, there's been times I book my assistant books a whole week and I only stay two days. Okay. So I don't want to miss out on all that money and then I can't get a refund already booked and it's not within 24 hours right. so that's why i've been booking by the day I understand accommodating that. for my Julian people has explained a little bit yeah so for that reason what i would recommend is two nights day so instead of one night tonight and even if it's prepaid i know you're prepaying the reservation yeah, yeah. you're probably finding better deals we can in case that you need to depart yeah we will i will guarantee you that that money will be we will not charge you in case you have to depart early. Alright. So how how is how is so many people coming in here day to day, but my reservation day to day is messing things. I imagine you getting new bookings every single day, correct? But for back to backs one night, one after the other. Well, I, I believe every day you get new check ins, right? Nights. Oh yeah, for sure. Right. But you were extending one night every day. So it's hard for operations. We don't know if you're gonna use that room or not. I got you. I'm not looking to be confrontational. I was just oh, trying to no, figure out. Uh, don't you have several people extending their stays when they're here? But not one night every day. No. But I imagine you hold like over a thousand people here probably. I might be wrong, give or take. I'm sure you get hundreds of people extending their stay. We got a few people extending a five night stay, three night stay, two night stay. Yes, but not one every day. Back to back reservations for one night. Well, I'll I tell you what. I'll. I'll do what I can to accommodate y'all, even though I believe y'all should be accommodating me. Uh, we do, and we were happy to do that the last day. You stayed for 15 nights booking everything. I've stayed here for like a month. Uh, two weeks ago, I was here for like a month, two rooms at a time. I would expect oh, yeah. to get a free room or something or some kind of discount, not a don't keep extending your stay day to day. I appreciate your business. However, this is, it's just not how we operate. Right. Where does it say that in writing that I can't extend my stay so example, day to day? If I don't have, oh no, you can. I'm just not recommending you to do that. Oh, okay. You might have to be moving rooms. For example, you might have to move rooms Understand. in the next two days because we'll need that room. Okay. So if you're okay with that, you want to continue to go Yeah, because if my sister sees a room online, there should be no reason for me to get a personal note that the room's not going to be available. I understand, and we're, we're being accommodating. We appreciate, like I said, we appreciate your business. You're booking the standard room. We're upgrading you no matter what the rate for those rooms. The loft today yes. is selling at $1,000, $800. That's not what you're understand. You. So we are accommodating you. Yeah. Please, please understand. We do appreciate your business. However, um, we can continue to do I, I hear you. Like I said, I'll, I'll do what I can to, you know, make it work out Thank so you. there's some reciprocity. I just was curious. Absolutely. It's, it's just that it causes confusion, like I said, especially with the suites and with 
higher occupancy, for example, this weekend, we are at a higher occupancy, we can't continue to do that. Um, so if you look But where, where does the confusion come in? Because if it's not available, then it's simply not available, and it's my loss if it doesn't work out for me. Right, but however, we don't know what time we're going to be checking out. Check out is at 11. So if you stay in the room, let's there. say, Tonight. Hey, and you then get some new keys on your car? Yeah, and I need that room at 11 a.m. in the morning, which most likely is what I will need. Yeah, so then and I should just get a, a, a notice or a notation and let me know uh, we need you to check out. At this time, there'll be no later to check out. Absolutely. I don't have a problem this with that. That's why I wanted to have this conversation with yeah. you. So I wanted to explain uh, the process to you. And okay. Why, um, I understand. Yeah. No okay. problem. Uh, all right, perfect. So. You already checked in the reservation for today. Yeah. Um, starting tomorrow, not tomorrow, tomorrow we still have the room available, but starting Sunday we will not have that room available. Okay, that's all right. And we will not that works have the one bedroom suite also for this weekend. No problem. Okay? That's not a problem. I give you a heads up. I appreciate you telling Thank me. Thank you so much. Okay. Of and I appreciate you understanding. No problem. All right. What's your name again? My name is Fernanda. Fernanda. All right. Correct. I'll be here throughout the weekend, so if you need anything, just let me know. Okay. All right? Thank you. Thank you so much. These going to work for our room? Yeah. Oh, uh, because it's ain't no room. I think I got some old keys. The only thing they should be talking to me about is all these damn keys. <laughs> Here's some old keys. We'd we'll be good. It's all right. <laughs> did, did you guys get to hear that? I hope y'all was able to hear this. I'm causing confusion by extending the state. They got over a thousand people checking in every damn day. They got over a thousand people checking in here every day. But my my extensions is causing confusion. <laughs> you got over a thousand people checking in every day. But well, me extending day to day is causing confusion. But you know, I exercise a lot of patience because I know I got it recorded. Y'all heard, y'all heard, did y'all hear it clear enough? Please tell me, press nine if y'all heard that stuff clear enough. <clears throat> yeah, like thank you. Like if, if the room's not available when I extend, then the room's not available when I extend. But why I gotta go on my way to buy, buy rooms extra days that I'm not comfortable with, it's nice. She, she said I'm gonna get my refund, but I ain't gonna get it the same day. Cause we know how this refund shit work for hotels. They don't even give you your security money back the same day. <laughs> you be waiting three, five days, thinking that shit back in your bank account, and after a while you lose track. Y'all know what it is if you ever travel and go to hotels. <clears throat> so I wanna put myself in a position. I'd rather live with the, oh shit, I don't need the room tomorrow. I'd rather live with that. I don't need the room tomorrow and do what I do. Oh, thank you. Y'all heard it. Yeah, come on. Fuck out of here. But you know, I stay calm because I wanted it recorded and documented because I feel like I'm being violated. I feel like I'm being disrespected. And I would like to know if that is within their company policy, where there's a limit to extending or if you're just making this shit up. And if you're just making it up, why? Why are you applying rules to me that you're not applying to other people? I would like to know that. So I'm like, you know what? I feel I handled it perfectly well. Considering that we're live and you guys got to hear it for yourself. So I know I'm not bugging. Shit don't make sense. Is it me? Or do you think there's some level of discrimination in there? Because I don't like reaching and jumping out the window. But when I was told they want to speak with me about the amount of days I keep extending. And then I'm like, if the website say the damn room is available. Then... Why are you telling me personally it's not going to be available? Let the website, let the let the internet say so. Let the receptionist say so. Why are you coming to me directly to tell me that a room will not be available that presently is? It's almost like you're telling me don't book the fucking room. 
It's literally like you telling me don't book the room. It's available right now. And guess what? We booked it anyway. Because I made sure before I left the freaking room, I booked for tomorrow too. <laughs> and guess what we're going to do? I'm going to book the next day too. Like, come on now. Like, what is that? You going out your way to tell me something's not going to be available to me? It, my money is not going to be available? Somebody else's money is going to be available? It, put a block on the goddamn room. Don't don't come to me telling me it's not going to be available to me. And, 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 make, and integrate it with this idea or this notion that because I'm extending my stay day to day, I'm causing confusion. If, if, I, if I could cause confusion for extending my stay day to day, imagine the level of confusion of accommodating for for all for all these people all these rooms do you know how big this place is oh my goodness this place is so huge they gotta have thousands of rooms up in here a thousand rooms something like that it's too big so if you can't handle a little old me extending my stay day to day how you going to be able to handle running this business <clears throat> know what I'm saying? Say so I'm causing confusion by extending my stay day to day. I'm like, you got like a thousand rooms here, isn't it confusing? If I could cause confusion, checking in every day and checking out every day by myself, you must be overwhelmed with the responsibility to check in everybody else that comes in here and check them out by the day. How is my one check in and check out causing confusion? And and and. Yeah, and you here telling me about a room that won't be available? Like nigga, it won't be available. Why are you telling me? I don't need a personal notice that something won't be available. Hey, I done spent, I done spent over thirty bands here just the last time around booking y'all guys' rooms. Like you can't spend enough money. When you this complexion, that's how I just be feeling. I know. I'm really about to it. Hold on, real quick. Shit, so sick. What I gotta do? That's what I'm saying. No matter how much you drippy, you be in a four hundred thousand dollar damn car. You could book two, three rooms at a time for thirty days straight. Your rooms could cost a thousand dollars every time. You know what I'm saying? Niggas act like they giving me something for free. I, I'm paying for everything I fucking get. Went on a 30 day tear. Left for a week and change, came back. Another two weeks straight. I was gonna wrap it around, but whatever one's easier. Well, you wanna do that? Uh, huh? Well, how you wanna do it? Nah, I hope you do it. Right. Just make sure my drive don't fall out. It's inside a pocket buttoned up. I'm just saying, be careful. Hey, you ain't got to do that, King. Thank you, bro. you know, these stores close themselves. Thank you, Papa. All right, Papa. All right, Chief. <laughs> Don't do Papa like that, man. Hey, man. That's my guy. Close Voice Diaries, man. Thanks, man. They said I showed them how to remain cool. I'm I'm causing confusion by checking in and out every day. I'm like, then what you call this establishment? It's like a thousand rooms of people checking give, in and out. Not give, so she basically tripping because we're not giving nobody else the time to book the, the room opportunity to get the room they want. Why? Fuck. The we fuck is you talking about, nigga? We already in it. We gonna rebook it again, bro. I already did. Again. This this shit. this ain't Big Mama's house, and we gotta yeah, save the yeah. pasta for somebody. Yeah, what the fuck wrong with you? We ain't all that shit. <laughs> he definitely. <laughs> he ain't even gonna ask for it. We ain't all that shit. No, we ain't saving no That's seconds. a fact. Don't, don't let it be a burrito. You are walking there with that shit bitten by this nigga. Boss. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, that sounded crazy. But yeah, let me save this video before I confirm the exact hotel location. <laughs> Well, we could we could get real goofy if we want. Watch this nigga. He driving dunks. Damn, why are you speeding up when you see people? Goodness. One thousand rules for just a few sweets, huh?
come on, they got mad suites. I'll be in the loft. I like to have that upstairs, downstairs, see the water, the view. How do I lift this up on this room? Um, this nigga ain't learned yet. Some niggas is just slow learners. Nah, this shit different, I ain't gonna lie. Look at this dude. Been popping in and out of rolls and Lamborghinis and still ain't get it yet. Uh, and, and, and I ain't gonna let him know nothing either. He, uh, I'm gonna push you off the branch and you gonna lie to fly or die. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. He talking about me to die. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. But you know, I stay calm. Cause I already had it in my mind, you know, I'm just gonna document this. Cause I bet you if I would have put the camera in her face, she wouldn't have said all those incriminating things. That sound like somehow they basically need space for somebody else other than us. That's what it sound like. I could be wrong, but it sound like we need to accommodate for them. As I said, I said, uh, okay, I'll accommodate for you, but I thought y'all was supposed to be here accommodating for us. You're asking me to not book rooms so you can know what rooms we're going to be in? Because then I'm upgrading. Don't upgrade it if it's not available. Fuck wrong with you. If it ain't available, it ain't available. But you probably don't want to get caught up Denying me of a room and getting caught out there. So now you're trying to shut me down with these so called private conversations, but we got you. Man. Yeah, it's probably burning your soul that the best rooms in the building we keep occupying. Thank you, my brother. We keep occupying the best rooms in the building. Probably burn their soul. Like, man, you know, my non-black people can't get up in these rooms. Cause you know, Sunday they trying to turn up. Exactly. Oh, you you trying to give me a heads up to not get that room. So you can get them up in there. <clears throat> but in actuality, if it was that simple, if it was that simple in actuality, guess what? It just wouldn't be available because since it's going to be so packed Sunday, it would just not be available. These are blinkers, maximum. What you talking to me about? Watch these people, man. It's all out here. All out here. Scamming. These niggas scamming too. Look at these scam artists. They be wilding out here. Garden in front of a rose. There's no respect out here. Of course, we're going to acquiesce to you, Mr. Beamer. This is something different. miles per hour out here without niggas darting in front look, of look at another scammer. The, everybody on these alternative vehicles are scamming. <laughs> they all scamming. Uh, they you stop playing around. They're on foot scamming too. <laughs> Rolls Royce Diaries, man. This was a great episode of the Rolls Royce Diaries. We gonna go viral too. Watch. <clears throat> we gonna repost this shit. We gonna go the fuck in. I probably gonna put the name right in the title right now, just just to get it out the way, and then they gonna find out about it. Oh, they sealed some of this shit up. About time this shit was savage. Cooked. With blessings and abundance, y'all. Just showing y'all how y'all deal with it. Don't don't talk. Don't have stupid conversations with people unless you're gonna record it. If you can't document it in no shape, form, or fashion, decline from the opportunity to be talked stupid to. That's my shit for 2023 and beyond. That's what I learned from doing those debates. If somebody gonna talk stupid, let's at least record them so we can put the playback on there. So everybody can hear it. Let everyone hear it. Don't have nobody talking stupid to you. Don't have nobody undermine your intelligence with no documentation, no, no form of receipt to confirm. The insult. <laughs> All done. Yeah. Anytime you feel something stupid coming your way, get ready to record it. If it's implicating you or impeding on your process, your your progression. Get to it. Gotta have receipts. But now that we got the receipts, game time. I just wanted to get a consensus.
from my people to see if it was just me. Because from the time I got the phone call that I needed to talk to somebody about the amount of stays that I've been extending, I'm like, oh, you guys are finally going to give me a free day or something? That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay. Took $50,000 and more to go, but hey. Oh, you guys want to give me a room? You want to talk to me about moving in? I'm thinking this is what I'm going to hear. Not thinking we would like you to stop. <laughs> and and more importantly, stop targeting the best rooms in the suites. Stop targeting the ones with the upstairs and downstairs. Stop targeting the lofts. Stop targeting our thousand plus dollar rooms. But you know, like I said, I do what I do and then I upgrade because I don't know what I'm doing from one day to the next a lot of times. And even if I do know what I'm doing one day to the next, I'd rather take the risk to have not upgraded a room that I extended than to lose out on my money because I'm about to fly off randomly. Like, come on, I can't be the only person who buys one-way tickets places and books a room a day or two at a time. Because two days ago, I booked two, two rooms at a time. Or three days ago, I booked two at a time because I really understood my schedule like that. But you ain't gonna force me to buy more rooms than I need or give me the little passive aggressive bullshit. Come on now. Anyways, and I just get the impression you wouldn't mind if I'm just angry and go somewhere. Just, just get out of your hair. Like we're doing something. We're not breaking no rules. I don't smoke. You know what I'm saying? We don't drink. We just lit. <laughs> we're not doing none of that in the rooms. We just lit, and they hate it. We, we barely in the room. Like we got 24 hour studio session today. We're not even going to be in the room that I paid for. It's just storage right now. It's literally storage. We're going to be outside. And then when we take our break from studio, we're going to go to a restaurant. We're going to go to a club. Then we're going to go back to the studio. We're never going to see that studio until the same time tomorrow. Damn near. We're never going to be back into that hotel room until sometime tomorrow around this time. Like, come on. I'm paying for storage. Expensive storage. And still that's not enough. We're not even in there doing anything. But you know, I'm not shocked, nor am I in a sense of dismay, because this is the hate you get. I get a different type of hate from black people and a different type of hate from white people. And somewhere, there's a through line, a middle line where they all meet. <laughs> it just is what it is. It just means I'm doing something right, but we gonna get their ass. We gonna be on their body. I promise you that. I'm out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Yeah, I should be getting free room for the rest of my life. We already had this discussion, man. <laughs> we were ready. It, it worked better than I thought. Couldn't believe people would talk so stupid. I was hoping this was a psych I lie moment. Rolls Royce Diaries. Rolls Royce Diaries, you heard? Talk to me nice. We Don P. With the homies, man. I'm so sorry y'all have to deal with the mental strain and, the, and their views of being black. Black men in America. It's all love, brother. Still, treat, all love, still treating us like, like we ain't got credit cards now. They acting like we ain't got credit cards no more. They ain't like we still eating ramen noodles. Soup in the cup. Soup in the cup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit hurt. Then you put a little piece of food in the center of a large plate and, and spend over 1500 It hurt. The little post that you put up there, where you got that small piece of food in the center of the plate, $1,500. Deported straight from Japan on a helicopter. To the, uh, to the restaurant and, I, the and, and I'm here for it And I don't even eat none of that <laughs> I was just here to support it literally, I was here to support that $1,500 plate Literally, I said what's up to the pilot and everything uh -huh. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you I'm trying to tell you They don't want to see us win well, We gonna do it anyway, man Talk to me nice I love you guys We got him though Got him Got him <laughs> Got him Ah Yo, yo, somebody better talk to me nice. You heard?
Uh, yeah, we gonna submit this. We gonna submit yeah. this document right there. I already got my attorneys on retainer. Damn, you would think that we was like hostiles, man. man. Vagabonds, renegades. You know, killers without choice, wrongdoers with no remorse. You just think we would. We need to be rebuked. For our satanic ways, the way I mean, goddamn, all we did was spend over 50 bands and and pull up in a four hundred thousand dollar car, and the shit still ain't enough. Still. Needs to be happy till we bleach our goddamn skin, still. and they'll remember how dark we was. It still won't be enough. <clears throat> Racism is so weak. Peace, y'all. Hey, we gonna get them. I'm gonna keep y'all posted. <laughs> I ain't mad. I'm actually happy. She threw us an alley oop. Niggas got the resources to make sure. I, I just wanna see where it says, and whatever contract that I signed for my room, or anybody else's for that matter, you smell that C? Like, seesaw for real. Smell that C. I always want to see where, where I've um, done a violation. Hell yeah. Y'all got her face in her name, huh? Ah. That's how it is. Alright, guys. Talk to you later.